welcome to your August Soul Session. I am Marlo. If you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend. And of course, if you resonate with this message, be sure. Okay, there's like a piece of hair on my forehead. Oh my God, it's driving me mad. Okay, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Virgo, my bad. <laughs> if you resonate with this message, be sure to tickle my like button because, you know, she's kinky and she's into that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? And of course, if you're interested in the extended for this message, okay, it is in the description box below this video. And I'm literally telling everyone that I'm starting um, a book study on my legit like favorite book. It literally altered the course of my life like forever. And we're starting that on July 31st. But in the event that you watch this after we've started, what I'm doing for people who join in the second week is uh, we're recording like, you know, the first like session, you know, so you can go back and watch it and still be able to get the activities and catch up with the rest of the group. And of course, it's open to all of my members, whether you're on Patreon, YouTube members, or on uh, my network, Our Sanctuary. I'm gonna take both of those. So let's go ahead and jump into your cards and see what is going on with you guys for the 1st through the 15th of August. So let's see, first card out. We have the Hermit and the Reverse. So that's kind of missing the mark a little bit, repeating some past mistakes. That is the Virgo energy. So it's kind of like coming into the month, Virgo. You guys, whatever it is that you're grappling with, it's more or less you guys are approaching it in the same way that you typically do, right? That's what I mean by like repeating past mistakes. Because, um, I, and this is just what I'm intuiting, because I literally don't remember what I said in your soul session in July. But um, whatever it is that you guys have been kind of dealing with in that latter part of July, then um, it's kind of like, uh, it feels like kind of like a problem, a conflict, something along those lines. But I feel that you guys are more or less coming at it in the same uh, vein, if you will. Like it's approaching that situation the way that you do um, in, you know, every situation like prior. And with this being in the reverse, it's more or less saying that that's not necessarily in your best interest to approach it the way that you have. You know what I'm saying? And ironically, the first thing that's coming to me is kind of like passive aggression. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. And I'm not saying anybody doing that, but this is just the energy signature I'm picking up on. It's kind of like if you were dealing with a person who, um, you know, is doing something that you don't like, you know what I mean? Like y'all just aren't on the same page for whatever reason, whether it's like, you know, partner, boss, whatever the case, it's like how it is that you tend to cope with things, like as opposed to like, being assertive and saying, hey, this is the line, don't cross it, I don't like what you're doing. It's kind of uh, dealing with it like with passive aggression. You know what I mean? To kind of get your point across because it's almost like there's a fear that's involved in reference to like speaking your truth like or feeling like the other person should know or something along those lines, right? Now, the next card that we have, okay, the fool in the reverse, and then we have the seven of cups in the reverse. So here is the thing, Virgos. This is a little, it's a little bit of a forewarning. That's Aries energy, by the way. So the whole thing is, this is really speaking to a lack thereof of being assertive. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like you guys are suffering in silence because of this, because it's kind of like stewing on the inside, right? It's like, you're not really a fan of how someone is treating you or how something panned out or, you know, the way that your boss is, like whatever the case, like the way, you know, that your life is, whatever, right? And the way that that's usually coped with is like, it's going within, but it's not going within. And I mean, like going within, like isolating yourself and like going within, like in your head, but not going in with a specific end goal or directive. So it's not like, you know, the, the hermit <clears throat> upright would be more of a self-directed, I'm going within to do shadow work. Like that would be your end goal type of journey. So it's kind of just like isolating yourself or being, you know, like I said, like passive aggressive with you know a person or people because there's a level of not being clear of why this is happening why you are where you are 
why things are panning out the way that they're panning out. So sorry to interrupt you guys while you're listening to the show, but I wanted to tell you guys about our new partnership with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of them, it's an online resource in which you can find your very own friendly local neighborhood therapist, no matter where you are in the world. You sign up and within 24 hours, they match you with a therapist that's right for you. And you can talk to your counselor every week via phone or video chat. You can also text them between sessions. If you or someone you know has been considering therapy, get started today with BetterHelp. Now let's get back to the show. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting kind of vague glimpses of what it is that I got for you guys last month. And I think it was like me being super excited for you guys because it's like, oh, my gosh, Virgo, like you got it. You know what I mean? But and this is something that I said with Libra. I said the same thing with um, Aquarius. It's like when we overcome something and we stand in our power, it's like, you know, you still have to master the, the skill set. Right. Like you learn how to ride a bike without training wheels you have to master riding a bike without training wheels. (laughs) You feel what I'm saying? So you're not going to be like the perfect bike rider when your training wheels first come off. So don't feel any way about it. But the only thing I'm saying is, and specifically, if this is kind of a passive aggressive, I can't freaking talk, whether this is a passive aggression type of way of coping or it's like self-isolating yourself and beating yourself up in the head and stuff like that. And that's a way of coping with this fool in the reverse, it's really holding you back from where it is that you're intended to go. And it would leave you in a space to where like, because I know like with everyone, we're starting like these new energetic cycles. But if you kind of backstep into this old way of coping, which is why I'm telling everyone about better help and getting a therapist. (laughs) If you fall back into the old way of coping, it's like you're kind of bringing yourself back into that old cycle and that's not really helping anything. You feel what I'm saying? Now with this uh, seven of cups in the reverse, I'm excited to see this because there's a sense of clarity here. And this is like almost like, and I've been seeing this for everyone. It's something about the end of the first week of August where there's kind of like this energy that feels much like a divine intervention kind of vibe where there's like, you know, this particular event that's happening in the latter part, well, not even the latter part, the last couple of days of July and like the first couple of days of August. And then bam, spirit like shows up. Like there's some like, aha, like, oh my gosh, I get it type of deal. But, and this is so interesting because how, Libras, I don't know how all these are like connected y'all because like this is not like, I mean, at least you and Libra are like somewhat in um, in Zodiac order, but it's just like how all these are bleeding into each other is just so wild because I, I feel like where I ended Libra with them going into September and they're extended, it's almost like that's being picked up with you guys because literally what I told them was it's like, okay, everything like got to where it is that it got but there's still work left to do. So, and I don't know why, like my guys literally have me harping on this whole passive aggression thing, but like, say if you can admit to yourself that, yeah, the way that I kind of deal with stuff, I do be a little passive aggressive girl. Like I'll be doing that sometimes. That, that'd be my little thing. I don't like that I do it, but I'd be doing it sometimes, right? It's like when this clarity comes, right? Cause it's like, you go within yourself or you're passive aggressive because it's like, I want to get my point across, da, 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 da. So let's put this in a whole full blown scenario. You're working at this job and your boss is like a total dick. And it's like your way of coping with them being an asshole is you being passive aggressive, right? It's like, oh, I need those TPS reports. <laughs> Shout out to those of you who know what that means. Go ahead and drop uh you know your favorite quote you know in the comments you know know, checking on those tps reports but anyway only a few people are gonna know what i'm talking about but anyway (laughs) but it's like you know your boss is like all like you know sitting on your desk it's like i need those tps reports and it's like are those tps reports finished and you're like "Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm you know what i'm saying as opposed to saying yes or no, it's like having like a little attitude, being a little passive aggressive, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Walking by your boss's office with their door open, knowing that they asked you about the TPS reports and it's just like they call your name and you're like, hmm, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You know what I'm saying? Like doing stuff like that. And then bam, by the end of the week, it's like clarity comes in reference to like 
how to get out of this situation, how to avoid this situation, how to better cope with this situation, which is totally cool. Or maybe like your boss gets fired, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But just because this clarity comes, it doesn't mean that this particular thing is going away. And that's why it's coming up for everyone. And um, so if you have Libra in your chart, definitely check it out, especially if you're a cusper. But um, but that's this doesn't go away. So with passive aggression, that is a toxic way of coping. Right. And what it is when a person's passive aggressive, it means that you feel that you can't speak your truth like you can't be either you fear being assertive, you fear confrontation. So it's like you try to get your point across inadvertently, you know, like you know, you feel a certain type of way about something. And it's like, there's some fear involved of you being direct and saying, Hey, when you did this, I really don't like that or whatever the case. And it's being kind of like backdoorish inadvertent with trying to get your need needs met. So it's really at the root of it, a fear of asking for what it is that you need and want. So you're, you know, uh, diverting to unscrupulous means if you will that are more inadvertent as opposed to being you know directive you know what i'm saying so that would still be something that needs to be dealt with even though the circumstances change right wherever we go there we are the circumstances may have changed or cleared up but there's still a reason why because if you know regardless of who it is that you're around, if your like defense mechanism is not passive aggression, you don't just suddenly become passive aggressive. It's like everyone has one. Like some people, it's them just completely disassociating and like pure avoidance, right? With other people, it's codependency. With other people, it's like agreeableness. So it's like, you know, being a yes man. So, and that goes deeper into, you know, our personality, our coping skills, stuff that we've been through, things of the sort. So just keep that in mind. Things are going to lighten up by the end of the first week, but this still has to be dealt with. And I feel the reason why this would be coming up so soon is because for whatever it is that's shifting and changing for you guys in the month of August or in the foreseeable future, with this fool in this reverse, this could be something that would ultimately undermine you if it's not faced and dealt with. Is that making sense? I hope and pray that's making sense. I'm asking you if that makes sense as if you could answer me. <laughs> but anywho, I mean, y'all gonna answer me in the chat during the premiere, but you know. Anywho, next card, we have the four of coins in the reverse. We need a little heart opening. Yeah, I'm saying left vulnerability. Okay, now, what, what, what are we doing, Virgo? What is we doing? We got the eight of cups in uh, the reverse here. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to, okay, all right. Next card we have is the Empress. Okay, come on with it. That's Libra and uh, Taurus energy. And to be 100, but that's Venetian vibes, by the way. You know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, I have to say, and this is gonna, like, I mean, it's not gonna sound crazy when you actually go see what it is the hell that I'm saying. But legit, you're watching the Virgo reading because the hermit is Virgo. You're watching the Virgo reading because you're a Virgo somewhere in your chart and you're here and you're watching, right? I would suggest to watch the Aries reading because the Aries reading, it was like this whole weird, creepy, strange switcheroo that happened where like everything said Taurus. I was premiering the Taurus video and I was like, why am I saying Aries? And literally I premiered Pisces Aries and Taurus on the same day. And somehow Taurus, Taurus's video and Aries video were switched. I still don't know how the hell that happened, but it did. <laughs> so I, I had to go in during the premiere and like switch everything around. But every single person, like I've gotten so many like DMs, like emails about this, like even people I know in my real life, <laughs> like my friends and stuff, like were calling because they were like, dude, they signed on to watch the Taurus reading, but they were like, every freaking thing I needed to hear was an Aries. And they're like, yeah, Taurus still resonated, but it's like everything I was dealing with at that time, it's like that Aries reading gave me all of the answers that I needed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say that to you guys. I think it would behoove you, even if it's not in your chart, to look at the Aries soul session for August and to look at the uh, Taurus as well as Libra soul sessions. And specifically with Taurus, because Taurus pretty much like, I mean, Leo is a collective message because we're in Leo season. 
But the thing is with uh, Taurus specifically, I was like, dude, this is totally a message to the collective and it's relevant in the sense that our North node is, the collective North node is in Taurus. And I really feel like Libra's message would help you out a great deal, um, especially since this was like the last card um, that came out for them and they're extended, but it was in uh, the reverse. The next card, interesting, look at that. We have the fountain in the reverse. So here is the Dilio, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Virgo friend, you know what I'm saying? With this four of coins in the reverse, and we're talking about the week of the 15th, of course, you know, the 8 portal um, is this week as well as on the 11th, the full moon in Aquarius. So, you know, we're releasing, forgiving, letting go things of the sort, you know what I'm saying? And whatnot or whatever. But with this four of coins in the reverse, we're speaking to a poverty mindset, a lack mentality, a lack there of a vulnerability being closed off all of the things that I was talking about with this little hermit is like going into like isolation, right? Or fearing letting people in, fearing opening up and out into the world, right? Or speaking your truth in some way, shape, form, or fashion. However, the thing that I'm excited about and I feel for this intuitively, um, I think literally between the 8th and, and the 11th, these are going to be really important days for you guys. I'm also going to tell you to learn as much as you possibly can about the heart chakra. You know what I'm saying? But um, literally between the 8th to the 11th, those are going to be really important days for you guys because I feel that like it's me literally looking at these, the hermit in the reverse, the eight of cups in the reverse and uh, the seven of cups in the reverse. It's almost like you guys getting clarity because I look at the eight of cups in the reverse is a lot of different things, child, depending on the context that it's in. But I feel for this specifically is more or less like you guys learning from the past mistakes. And it's the fact that the issue here is you've been repeating past mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But I feel with this clarity that comes, it's almost like these two energies are coming together to where you kind of falling back into the way that you've always handled stuff is a good thing because it inadvertently becomes your deliverance, right? Which is why I believe on this whole thing called life, like you can't fuck up and you can't make mistakes. Because even like when you make a quote unquote mistake, it's like spirit is still working through that shit to get you where you need to be. And then if we were to get real illustrative with it and y'all better not judge me because I'm gonna cover it up because I was eating ramen <laughs> and I had, and I still haven't cleaned it off. I was eating ramen like a few weeks ago and um, I wasted it on the card and I didn't wipe it off. And now there's dried ramen on there. So don't you dare judge me. But anyway, if I were to get real visual with it, if my autofocus would work. Okay. You see that little beam of light that's coming from the hermit. This is really weird to do when I'm looking at the, how it's showing up to you guys and trying to do it in real life. But you see that light that's being shown, right? And this light is shining on this eight of cups in the reverse. So for me, it's like, this is learning from past mistakes, right? It's like, oh, I didn't been around the mulberry bush so many times. It's like, I finally freaking get it. So I feel like you guys coming into the month in this energy with the energy that's happening between the eight, eight portal, as well as um, with the full moon in um, Aquarius along with like this emotional clarity that comes with like having that central focus. Like I'm trying to self-protect. I'm trying to make sure I'm safe with the score of coins in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to hold me down, bump all these other people type of vibe. It's like you getting into that energy. It's like a perfect point to where all of these energies work together to get you to like see, like it's going to click and you're like, holy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is why I do that. Or, you know, that's why I do like, you know, approach people like this and that and da, 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 da. And um, I'm going to tell you a little quick story to give you an example uh, from my own life of what it is that I'm talking about here. And many, many moons ago, I always say that I was like the worst employee in America. Shout out to anybody that was ever my boss that is watching me. I am so sorry. I was just a horrible employee, y'all. Like I've been working since I was 15 years old. I just the absolute worst. Okay. And one job I worked in particular, um, it's like every time my boss would say, and this is what my name was before I changed it, but my name was Princess India. because That was my first name. So my boss, every time she'd be like, Princess India, I need you to come into my office because I need to speak with you. 
right? And every time she would do that, I just would get so fucking pissed. Like when I tell like, oh my gosh, it's like anger would rush through my veins. And I'm like, what does that want? Like, like she want me to kind of like, what she want to talk to me for? <laughs> right? And I'm literally in this whole thought reel in my mind, like stomping towards her office. Like, I bet this bitch probably gonna say that I did something wrong. She gonna say, eh, 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 right? And I literally walk into her office and she's like, close the door. And I was like, this bitch, here we go. She about to blame me for something. She about to say, mm, I already know what type of time she on. And she literally was like, I just want to congratulate you because, you know, with the staff meeting and, you know, you did really good this month. Da, 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 and I just wanted to congratulate you. And she's like, and we did your, you know, employee performance evaluation and everyone had great things to say, da, 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 right? And I was like, I was so deflated. Like, as soon as I heard that, like, I was just like, my balloon popped because I was gassed, y'all. I was gassed. You understand me? And I walked out of that office and like this aha moment that I'm talking about, I was literally walking back to my desk in a daze. And when I sat down at my desk, I literally was like just staring out of my window and I was like saying to myself, I was like, dude, like, why do I do that? I'm like, and then I just started thinking about like every time, like I say, it's just Princess Indy, I need to speak with you or any job that I was ever on prior to that. It's like I always had that defense that I was in anytime a boss would want to talk to me and not that I did anything wrong or knew I was doing something wrong and I was afraid of being called out. It wasn't that. It's like it's just something about my boss saying they needed to talk to me. I just instantly was like, they're going to blame me for something. They're going to say that I'm doing a bad job, like whatever, whatever. And I would go in that mofo in full defense mode. And I was literally sitting there like, my God, why do I freaking do that? I was like, why, why is it in my mind that she's calling me in the office because she wants to say something negative, you know? And when I'm making the connections of how many jobs I did that on, I was like, holy shit. It's like, I'm projecting. It's like, that's, that's, that was my perception of my performance. I felt like I was doing a shitty job. I felt like I was doing a less than stellar job. And because that's how I saw myself, I was projecting how I saw myself onto other people. You feel what I'm saying? Like authority figures. And it's like, child, we could deconstruct that and bring that all the way back to childhood because it's like having parents with standards and them wanting you to meet those standards and always needing to be on and successful and doing and achieving things. Right. So then it's like now as an adult, right, it's like authority figure. And it's like assuming that the authority figure, because they're in a position of authority, that they're going to do the same thing that happened to you when you were a youngin. You feel what I'm saying? So that experience that happened to me completely changed so much for me where I was like, holy freaking goodness, I've been living with like these freaking blinders on my face. Like, have I even been living real life, right? And that altered how it is that I showed up at work from then on out, right? So I tell you guys that story <laughs> to help you to understand what it is that I'm seeing happening for you guys between like in this uh, second week of August, specifically between the 8th and the 11th. It's kind of like a moment like that where the stars just kind of align, you know, and you're just like, what the hell? Like, why do I do that? You know what I'm saying? Or if you see like a repeating pattern, like why, why do I always like date people like that? Or why do I always behave like that in this particular situation? So it's going to be an epic aha. And the thing that I can tell you is, a lot of it has to do with why I said to learn as much as you can about um, like an overactive and underactive heart chakra is because a lot of that has to do with, we could say it in the context of a heart chakra, but it's more or less the issues that are related or show up when the chakra is in that state. And um, that <clears throat> can't freaking talk. It has a lot to do with vulnerability, right? Like an inability to open up and all of that is like fear-based. But coming into what we're rounding about in for the first half of the month is with this Empress card and the fountain in the reverse, it's more or less like in, in this particular deck, like the fountain card is, you know, it's like a higher octave than the world card <laughs> in so many words. So it's more or less from the construct of 
you've learned an epic lesson. So like by the 15th, it's like there's a major lesson that you're learning via this aha moment where you're making a connection and you can finally like walk away from the past for good because it's like now like you guys came out of July into August understanding, right? But in August, you're overstanding, right? So you're making those connections, which gets you to that completion with the world card and puts you into your feminine power, which is what I feel was blocked, that receptivity. You know what I'm saying? Because when our heart chakras are a little off, it's hard for us to receive. So it's more or less this opens you guys up from learning this lesson to step into your feminine energy or your receptivity and connection with spirit, which is a very empowered place to be in because that's how you're birthing things into this realm and what's not or whatever, right? But with this fountain in the reverse, it's saying that you have that lesson from the world card. You have completed a cycle. However, there's still another level that one needs to get to to get to that that to that big connection, like that beingness, Right. Because it's like that's learning like an earthly lesson in a 3D sense and like our human, you know, persona and understanding. Right. But with the fountain upright, it's us being able to take those lessons that we learned from all of the world cards, <laughs> our heroes journeys that we've gone through several times and us reconnecting to the divine, right? And understanding that we're an aspect of the divine. So that's okay, because this is still a really great card to have, whether it's upright or it's reversed, you know what I'm saying? And especially with that being paired with the Empress, even better, because it says to me that you guys are embarking on a new journey and you're coming from not, and which is another thing I said in Libra, you're coming not from your masculine energy, but you're coming from your feminine. So from the within to the without. So overall, it's freaking beautiful, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure that you work on your stuff and your things. You know what I'm saying? Don't ignore that. Anything that comes up for you guys, it's like, don't let it just be an aha. You want to get the tools and the resources to be able to put that aha into practice, if that's making sense. So that has been your soul session. For August, my beautiful Virgos, I'm going over to my network, Vimeo, Patreon, YouTube members, all the places that I'm at to do you guys extended. So if you bout that life, follow me on over there. But if not, I still love your freaking face. And I'll see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Kiss, kiss. That's my new thing that I'm saying at the end. I know it's lame, but so am I. So kiss, kiss, bash. Kiss, kiss. <laughs>